I'm Andrew Obris and I study cell suicide. Cell death is a really fundamental process, fundamental biological process. Cells die in our bodies all the time. During embryonic development, our hands are sculpted by cell death. The spaces in between our fingers are created by the death of those cells. Most of the cell death that happens in our bodies every day is uh, this sort of uh, unexciting form of cell death called apoptosis. It's scientifically exciting. It's not uh, inflammatory. It's not, um, doesn't turn on the immune system. It's sort of silent. The cells are just, they die, they're deleted, they disappear, they're gone. If you didn't have apoptosis, you'd have 100 feet of intestine and you'd have way too many immune cells. You'd have autoimmunity, it would be a mess. Not all cell death is created equal and cells can die in different ways. They can die in ways that are silent or they can die in ways that are very uh, loud and dramatic to the immune system. One of the things that we're really interested in in the lab is understanding this process um, and how the way that a cell dies actually determines how uh, the immune system responds to that cell. If a cell is infected by a virus, for example, uh, and it dies in a way that will alert the immune system as it's dying, then that's really important. That's going to make the immune system see that dying cell and react to it in a way that will help to clear that virus. You can think of an organism as a sort of a community of cells, and sometimes for the good of the community, you need a couple of those cells to go away. You need a, a couple of those cells to take one for the team and to uh, commit suicide in a way that will benefit the organism as a whole. One of the ideas that we're, that we're exploring now is whether whether the way that a cell dies will determine how the immune system sees that cell as it's dying. And so uh, one application of that could be to uh, attempt to kill cancer cells in ways that will notify the immune system and activate it. And that might allow the immune system to fight the cancer more effectively.